this is Crystal, and this is um, my lab two for robotics. It's um, coordinates for the Fanuc robot. So here I have the Fanuc robot at its starting position, and we have we have like five coordinates in the teach pendant and I'm going to go through with you um, about each um, coordinate so we're going to do the same things as the last video I made so I'll put a like, little info card so you can check it out and so first we're going to do the user coordinate um here is where you can like get the coordinates if i can move it closer right here and so this is the movement for the white coordinate no this is the movement for the user coordinates. So, oh, oops. Sorry about that. About the user coordinates, I'm not really sure what it actually does, but I think uh, the user coordinates are based on where the Fanuc robot's position was at the start, and it bases its coordinates um, from where its start position was. So I think it would be good if. If you were like working on a project and you didn't want to like restart from scratch, so you would get like a USB and would connect it to a teach pendant, I think. And basically, you would be able to like make your own calibration home. And I think it would save your coordinates. So you would go back to the starting position or the position you wanted each time you came back and worked here in case uh, someone was also working on the Fennec robot but had changed your coordinates so now on to the next coordinate the joint coordinate these are the movements Either, but here are the movements. 
as you can see, each time we move the robot in one of the joints, all the joints move. So, I'm not sure what this would be good for, for but I think it would be good for fast like work that doesn't really require much precision. So, like maybe something for games or I'm not sure I th I'm sure you could find some application for that but um yeah I noticed that the joints were moving with the part and that it stayed in the same plane so the gripper part wouldn't really move that much so here's the next coordinate this is the world coordinate. So the world coordinate is like basically where the robot arm is bolted. So if I move this in the J1 uh, X axis, it'll move like this. So there is a little bit of movement with the other joints, but it's not as prominent, I guess. Like, you can see that the part, like the elbow part moving a lot. I'm also not sure what this would be good for, for but I think it would be good for like reaching things. Uh, I'm not sure, but those are the coordinate movements for the world coordinates, and then um, we have the tool coordinates. Um, this is their movements. So even though I'm just moving on the x-axis and j1 joints, we can see that the other joints are actually moving a lot as well, especially that elbow. So the tool I think is also another like user like setup where you have to set up the the robot on its um, on the starting position that you want. And it'll base the tool coordinates on where the robot first started at. Um, I'm not sure what this would be good for, but I can see it being good for maybe um, quick, quick things, like maybe drilling, but I'm not sure. So those are all the coordinates. Um, I'm not a professional in this, so I'm not really sure what they all actually do, but those are my guesses, and that's how the coordinates of the robot works. Thank you for watching, and have a nice day.